So the fourth commandment is remember the Sabbath to keep it holy. And there's so much to be said about uh, Sabbath. I just wanted to focus on the, the two different places where it, it uses that command in the Old Testament. Uh, one says that to remember the Sabbath because uh, you once were slaves in Egypt uh, and God brought you out with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm and so you are to remember that on this day you can stop. You are no longer slaves and as a matter of fact any of the, the servants you have are to stop on this day. Sabbath means stop, by the way. Uh, not the seventh day. It means to stop. So remember uh, to stop because you are more than your production. You are more than human labor and, and so on, right? And so it's, it's a chance to, to stop and remember that human beings um, have an, an intrinsic value as people made in the image of God. The other place it says is that uh, to remember the Sabbath, to keep it holy, for on the seventh day, God rested, God stopped. Um, and so on this day, we, you look at the first chapter of Genesis and when God stopped, uh, it was an opportunity for his presence to fill all that he had created. And so on this day, we stop to remember that the presence of God is meant to fill creation. And, uh, and first and foremost, it's meant to fill creation through the relationship that we have uh, with God, who has uh, invited us to walk with him. And so on this day, in the midst of the, the rest of life that's a hustle and bustle, we stop and remember that we're made for relationship and first and foremost, relationship with God whose desire is to fill the earth with His glory.